I am uh, so I'm going to present a uh, recent work uh, that we uh, that we that we did in the past uh, past years on uh, 3D uh, understanding from uh, from images. So currently, I'm at uh, Ecole des Ponts, but uh, as uh, Anna said so before, I was at uh, TU Graz uh, in uh, in Austria. And actually, everything I'm going to present today was developed by uh, PhD student in uh, at uh, TU Graz, and uh, that's work that has been funded by uh, Qualcomm and uh, the Christian Doppler uh, Institute, which is an Austrian uh, funding uh, agency. So what do oops. Uh, yeah, so what do I mean exactly by uh, 3D scene understanding, so from, uh, from images? So what we would like to do is to uh, recognize uh, objects. So given a single uh, color image or no depth information, so recognize these objects, estimate their uh, 3D pose uh, in the environment and also their uh, 3D geometry. Uh, so that we can get basically something, uh, something like that. So a 3D, not just a 3D uh, reconstruction, but a semantic 3D reconstruction uh, of the scene. So with the geometry, the pose of the objects, uh, their uh, nature, so their uh, kind of uh, category. Uh, also, we, we also work on retrieving the layout of the room, so the, the, the floor, the, uh, the walls. So that's something that I'm not going to present today. I'm going to mostly to focus on uh, object uh, pose detection, uh, geometry recognition, and also uh, how we can make that, uh, make that uh, practical. And so as you can imagine, so if we manage to do that, uh, that would be pretty useful for different, uh, different applications. So I'm thinking about uh, augmented or virtual reality. So I just uh, show an example from, uh, from the HoloLens where if you can uh, use the real environment uh, in your augmented reality applications, for example. So of course, understanding a scene is, uh, is important for robots if you want to really interact with the, uh, uh, the real environment uh, around the, uh, the robot and so on. So, you can plan, imagine plenty of um, uh, of applications, and we are working on the basic research to make that uh, that happen. So, of course, so there are plenty of challenges to achieve uh, to achieve that, and we have, uh, I think, uh, most of the challenges in uh, in computer vision. Uh, so, in this uh, in this problem, so we are working with. Uh, color images so without depth information actually yes, we would like to work on uh, even with a single image so we don't really have directly uh, 3d information uh, so basically we lose in 